Hello Abacus user, welcome to Abacus Acumen for quick and sound learning. Today's session we are going to learn how we can do a high deformation twisting problem. So right now on my screen what you see is a high deformation twisting problem. This is the industrial problem which we taken from packaging industry and right now what you see between the two rigid mandrel uh, aluminum file is getting twisted by 180 degree so there are rotation and uh, forward translation motion between the two rigid mandrels and uh, they will do this repeated testing to test the aluminum file so uh, we'll do this problem in abacus explicit and there are a lot of learning in this problem you learn how to use a self contact how you can give a twisting movement to the one end how to get a translation how you can do a tie contact between the rigid mandrel and aluminum foil so this is a problem you are going to do it's a high deformation problem you see there is very high level of twisting going on so i'll just take a section cut so i'll take a z section cut so that will give you idea how 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 high deformation it is so you see there is a high deformation also there is a high twisting going on so this is this is a problem we are going to do so let me stop this animation get into the problem definition mode so guys this is what we are going to do a twisting of aluminum film using abacus explicit so typical industry people use this like a, a 90 millimeter diameter and 200 millimeter between two rigid mandrel this film they get it twist we are going to solve this problem our uh, typical aluminum properties uh, we are going, going to use ton millimeter newton and second density will be 2 2.7 e power minus 09 ton per millimeter 70 k will be the modulus in mpa 0.33 will be poisson's ratio we'll just use a two point to define a plasticity Yield stress will be 276 and uh, 324 will be the yield stress. Uh, sorry, breaks uh, the the break stress at the point two uh, will be the plastic strain. So this will define a tangent modulus. And uh, the 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 thickness of this this aluminium barrier films are very low, like 80 micron. So the thickness will be around 0 0.08 millimeter. So in this problem, what we'll do? We will just quickly define the geometry of the film mandrels metal data with shown thickness instant. So learning will do the two types of learning will we'll learn in this problem in terms of solver how to handle this problem is giving a twisting self contact definition you will also learn how to use a tie contact and you can give a position tolerance with no adjust option then you give BC step parameter and the post processing. So let's get started. Uh, uh, this particular problem I'll just change the 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 set the working directory I'll just close this so I set the directory I'll say a new model so first we'll just quickly make a film model so we'll kill create a film it will be deformable 3d we'll just uh, do a extrusion so this is fine for 400 I'll quickly create a point 0 comma 0 in the center and then 45 comma 0 I'll just draw a circle so this is a 90 millimeter diameter you can give a dimension and check so 45 is a radius okay you're done just extrude it 250 millimeters so you'll get a 250 millimeter film the actual the center portion between the two mandrel I'll just go back for just just a few minutes few seconds so between the two mandrel the length is 200 so the 25 millimeter is a mandrel uh, band which will fix on this to uh, this film so we'll cut this film 25 from here and then 25 from the other end so I'll just create a, so I'll XY plane I'll just create one at 25 then I'll say another at 225 that's it so we have two we'll just cut this 
I will say cut the face using a datum plane so I'll select will select the datum plane create partition select the face done select the datum plane and then you just create a partition so guys just to simplify it we just uh, location wherever this uh, mandrel is going to attach digit mandrel the type connection we just done a splitting so it is for easy for us to select and split it so we created the film we'll just quickly create a motor property so you can create aluminium density we have to give because we are going to do in this uh, abax explicit density are given I'll just give elastic property like a uh, 70 e power 0 3 0 0.33 plasticity will give 2 276 0 and uh, 324 at 20% plastic strain so this will define the tangent modulus for the the aluminum film so we've done this we'll create a section this will be again aluminium thickness will be like a 0 0.08 I told you it will be a very thin film of 80 micron so this is an issue so we'll give around 0 0.08 since there is a high level of twisting uh, include there might be hourglass things which you can check use hourglass control but just we'll just this put at around 7 integration point and then then we'll just assign this we'll just this assign this this properties to the part so we are done done with the film now the next part will create a mandrel mandrel one Uh, it will be again district rigid or uh, it will be steel mantle so it will be rigid so we'll just quickly I'll just create 0 count 0 so this will be like a 1 millimeter I'm just reducing so you can do a do a tie contact so we've done that I'll just give a radius so 45 is radius then I'll do a extrusion of this will be like a 25 millimeter depth so this is our first mandrel which will be the rigid I'll just create a one more part you can also copy this part also it's up to you how you want to do it 0 comma 0 45 comma 44 comma 0 quickly just create it check a dimension whether it's 44 done and then in do, do do a extrusion of 25 millimeter so this way you have two we'll just quickly create a instance will create an assembly so create instance we'll take this okay we'll just uh, translated one of the mandrel two uh, from around two sorry it will be 2 225 so you translated that so now there are two mandrel one is here and the other is here so let let's let's go to part instance so you can see one it at here red color green color is a film and then then uh, white color gray color is uh, the other mandrel so we've done that uh, now we're done now everything uh, property everything done so we'll just take it for a mesh so let's go to the mesh model on the part side for mandrel we'll put a coarse mesh 5 millimeter and then we'll just mesh it 
then mantle one also will quickly put a five millimeter and then film uh, you require a quite a fine mesh I'm just uh, this is just an example problem that's the reason I'm taking two but you can make a fine mesh uh, so that so that actually you can get a more accurate results there will be less hourglassing proper interaction of surface so this is actually uh, we are done so you see the meshing what we are done is a mantle one film we are good to find mesh and then mantle two now we'll create a surfaces out of all these just to make sure we use a right tie contact so film now film level will create surfaces I'll I'll just take this as a part. Oh, I'll create one slave one. Now, guys, uh, this is I'm doing for a tie contact. So tie contact is not necessary which one normal you take, but then <coughs> we'll still follow the the brown one will select. So this will be the first surface for tie contact. Then it will be have other part. So we have done that. Brown. Now we'll create for mandrel one. It will be master one. Then it will be. master 2 so we created that uh, with that now you looked we have everything so uh, let's uh, get into defining a tie contact so it will be first tie 1 you select a tie so this is the tie connection is a rigid connection between the two surface so there is no sliding they are almost tied together they will uh, internally abacus will put a, a, a constraint equation between the corresponding nodes and the mesh so they will move as a one body so I am putting tie then you select a tie then you select a master surface then you select a master surface I'll say highlight master one so you selected there continue then so master one and then slave slave two so you done that so once you do a tie of these two surface there you'll find uh, because there is already a, a one millimeter gap circumferential and this is I just purposefully keep it so that you can understand how you can do a die contact and uh, how you can use this position so, so position tolerance you specify the distance you can safely put here a specific distance 5 and then you say uh, adjust layer initial position you say no you don't want to adjust it because what is happening if you put this adjust slave surface initial position so whatever nodes in that tolerance zone closer to the master surface it will be pulled back on the master surface if you put adjust slave surface initial position so say you don't have to adjust it so let it keep there same position and whatever nodes in this 5 millimeter radius closer node to the master surface you just tie to the master surface we can put it one but then there are this is a mathematical modeling man guys so let's put it around two or five five is a, a safe bet here so then we'll create one more tie 2 uh, you select surface is a is a master 2 and then you select a slave 1 which is a right again you specify distance 5 and say adjust is equal to no position so this is you already tie this two surface now quickly we'll create a friction property so we'll use a penalty based friction around 0.2 and now guys this is this is important so we are going to do 
self contact self contact in explicit so so just a minute let me check let, let me check it to what the robot what is creating so we are going to not self contact we are going to use a general contact explicit so it will be all because we want to use a general contact in this type of deformation because it is a we are not sure which or which nodes and which elements or they are going to come in contact so we are not sure in this high deformation problem which are going to get in contact so we'll say all with self so there are a lot of self contact which can take place and then we'll select a friction property so we have done a self contact here now quickly we'll define a boundary condition so before creating boundary condition i'll just go to property for mandrel 1 mandrel 1 will define we forget to define a reference point so we'll define a reference point here also uh, we need because we are going to do this in abacus explicit so we need to define an inertia so inertia 1 will select that particular point done it will be like a 1 kg we can put it right now similarly for mandrel 2 uh, mandrel 2 will just put a reference point here we we'll put a reference point will also give inertia here so inertia one more we'll select this done 1 e power minus 3 tons so it is like a 1 kg so we define inertia also now uh, we'll define a different contact different things so we'll fix it one end will fix it so fix end will put it will be end caster condition so this is the end which are we are going to fix it other end will fix in uh, x y translation and x y rotation otherwise uh, the translation movement in z direction and rotation will allow it so we'll create moving end So before this we'll just quickly define a step because we need to define it as an explicit analysis. So dynamic explicit it will be around point. So we'll run it for 100 millisecond. So now you define it moving end so you'll put this three we have to give around uh, minus 37 millimeter translation so it will be negative z this will be constant this will be constant and u3 uh, we are going to give 180 degree uh, rotation so this will be we have to give in radians 3.1416 not instantly we will define a tabular amplitude so for time 0 the amplitude will be 0 and time point 0.1 the amplitude will be 1 so this is we are done guys now uh, just to recap what we have done we just created geometry we define a aluminum property we cut the surface to make a tie connection so we done a tie connection then then we we define a self contact we are given a twisting here 
so now let's let's create a job I'll just write a input file for you so mainly input file I just want to show you when you use a position tolerance how it looks so I'll just open it in text pad uh, you can go to star tie so you see there is a tie adjust equal to no position tolerance equal to 5 so if this adjust is equal to yes then it will just pull this slave node on a master surface that's the reason I put adjust is equal to no and position tolerance equal to 5 this the tie constraint is very handy wherever you know there is no no sliding movement where you have to tie two different surface two mesh this is very handy and uh, you can see different thing contact which we are using automatic general contact is a self contact we also given a 180 degree twisting so let's let's go back check how it is looking so data check is done there is no issue then we'll just submit a run wait for results so then we'll quickly share the results we'll discuss what is outcome before finalizing this so guys uh, the results are out so you can see now this is a deformation problem which we have solved so film is getting twisting and there are a lot of self contact happening within the film that's the reason it was very important to cons use the automatic general contact here and if I plot some some one my stress you can see it how it is so this is guys good to learn this type of high deformation twisting problem contact address everything I just take a section plot here how they looks it so even for section plot you can see how there is cutting how there is interaction between the within the films so we'll just slow down so that's it guys uh, this is a good learning for you how to solve this high deformation twisting problem you learn how to handle a twisting how you can give a twisting rotation and then handle the, the, the thin films self contact edges so thanks a lot for watching this video uh, we'll bring some more videos on the abacus taking forward this journey in terms of learning as an abacus tool with industrial problem uh, guys this is a non-profit project so don't forget to subscribe us like us we need your support to take this project forward thank you bye bye